Well, hello there, folks. David, your friendly here, Scotsman here once again. Well, today I'm at Lochmore Meadows. I've been doing a job. The rain has started and it's getting a bit blowy out there. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to head home just now and I'm going to do a wee video of the run. Let you have a wee look. Because some of my mates out in the States and Canada and all that have said that they'd be interested in seeing some of the area around Scotland where I live. Um, so, I've got the camera plugged in. Um, I'm going to stick it on the dashboard and hopefully the the bag thing won't make too much crackly noises and I'll let you have a wee look at where I live so I'm going to spin you round like this let's have a look at that there we go I'm going to turn the fan off because I don't want you to be deafened by the fan let's set that up a bit better you can see the wiper there just but I'm on wide angle anyway just clear the windscreens a wee bit for you and there's a few cars coming at the back of me and that's the reversing bleeper come on So annoying that thing, it just bleeps out. You've got a dodgy sensor. Okay, here we go. So, this is Loch Lower Meadows. That's the Willie Clark Centre at the back of me there. You can stay there a second. Willie Clark was a councillor around here. Lovely guy. A couple of cars there, there we go. Got speed bumps everywhere. On the left, we've got the golf course, Four Meadows Golf Course. Yeah, it's the putting green at the side of us there. It's such a shame. We've had a couple of showers coming on now, and we had the hottest spell before where we, you couldn't really go out because it was just too hot. And now we've got this car show today, and. Uh, this is the third rain shower we've had so far. So I'm just come on here, the traffic's quite heavy I know, but I'll let you have a wee look anyway. It's a lovely bit up here, you can go for walks, you can bring your bikes up, um, you can go fishing, you can go sailing, you can take a kayak out. Um, it's it's pretty it's a lovely park. It's a country park, so um, they've got a sort of countryside ranger here as well. So you can see they do events, especially during school holidays and things like that. There's a lot of events on. They have triathlons down here as well. Um, Go for a swim in the loch there, and then a uh, bit of a cycle run, and then go for I think it was a 5 or 10k run round the, the uh, loch or out and about that way. I just wish it was a bit nicer, you'd be able to see better. the right of us at the moment which you might not see so what I'll do is I'll pick the camera up so I'm getting stuck anyway is the castle up there it's quite an old castle maybe do a wee video of that at some point oh, back in there Put the window back up again somebody appears to have broken down here What I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop these on a second and I'll give the guy a hand and I'll be back in a sec. Okay folks, so that's me back. Um, it sounds like it's a fuel problem he's got. 
Uh, they just they filled up with fuel a little while ago. And um, he'd been driving it and it just cut out. So, <coughs> so I asked him if it was uh, like kangaroo, jumpy jump, fun guys. Um, and uh, the communication across us was it. We, we, we managed to chat a bit, but um, he'd just been picked up his boat and coming out and it just cut out on him. So, yeah, I think it's a wee fuel problem he's got there. So, we're now coming out. This is Cross Hill. A lot of sky there. Okay, sorry about that, folks. I should forward a wee bit. Got a memorial to a footballer on the left hand side coming out. I can't remember who it was. Apparently he played for Celtic, I think. Um, honestly, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Let's try to straighten you up a bit. You're sliding about on the dash a wee bit. That used to be a football ground at the side, but I think it's gone bust by the looks of it. I've not been sent to do a game there in a long time. You have to crawl through here, it's a 30 mile an hour zone. It used to be a 40, but for some reason they've dropped the speed limits. We've got Fife Cycle Park on the right here, which is purpose built um, cycle park. They have competitions there quite regularly. You can see the hanging baskets at the side here. Where those trees are on the right, there used to be a house there. There was an old lady who lived there a long time ago. Um, she didn't have a lot of money in that. And she actually used the floorboards for uh, fuel to keep her warm and to cook on. She took them up. We're entering Loch Ely now. Um, if you're in the UK and you're of my sort of age, uh, when you were at school, if you were bad, they punished you by belting you. And this is where the famous Loch Gelly Taws came from, which was the belt that every teacher had, kept it either in their desk or hanging up beside their desk or somewhere close by. And if you were bad, you got between one and six on your hand. Um, this is this is entering Loch Ely, this is the railway station, we're just going to come under the bridge here just now, up the hill. When I worked for the council many years ago, this was one of my areas that I used to do joinery work in. Now, it is a Sunday, so there's not going to be much open today. So, instead of going back the motorway, which is just kind of bland and boring, I'll take you down through some of the villages let you have a wee look at this. Uh, another speed bump. <coughs> so let you have a wee look at the car to a roundabout which we'll go straight ahead on. We have the Loch Ely Centre on the right coming up which has a lovely little theatre in it and local lad Liam Nardone is putting on a couple of things in there quite soon we've got Greece and then at Christmas we have Cinderella so that's the townhouse there they have meals for the old folks at Christmas and everything Shardy's pub right hand bend here which takes us to this Liam's dance school. You can't 
Academy of Performing Arts, that's it, it's not just a dance school, he does a lot. Great lad. Uh, some shops here on the right, we've got the church up on the left. Coming up to, on the left, there's a barber's here. Absolutely brilliant guy, he got the tugs out of my long hair. Next gen barbers, if you need anything, pop in there. Especially if you're local, it makes life a lot easier. West End Bar, they raised a lot of money recently. We're approaching the fire station on the left. Hopefully they won't be too busy. not bad area this now. It used to have a bit of a reputation but this is really quite nice. Right there, that used to be an old petrol station and it all got knocked down. It was just left for a long time and they built some beautiful wee houses on it. Watching this one. The only other thing you have to watch along here is the speed limits. Go and slightly squint again, straighten yours up a wee bit. It's the state of the roads, you'll be bumping about quite a bit here because I don't uh, have image stabilisation on this. We're now in Lumfinnans. Which is on the, we're supposed to just houses on the right hand side but it goes down a bit at the back. There's a community sports hub along here, a bit down on the right, coming up towards the bowling club. Not ten pin, it's lawn bowls. Little deer that we're crossing. Little car park on the left. There's a bowling club. Some dude walking his dogs. War Memorial on the right, we just passed that. Now where this blue car just come out ahead of us, that's Gagarin Way. That's where the sports hub is. And if you notice the wee house on the right there, that was one of my last jobs when I worked for the council, was fixing the roof on that. On the wee extension porch at the front. Ooh, that's all been done up, the Tyche place. Got Lumfinnan's primary school on the left. It's an old fashioned style of school, but it's a great place, the headmistress there is really good. We're just entering Cowden Beath. Got the ambulance station on the right there. As we come in a bit. church on the right there. We'll be going to the left. It's a junction bar. There's an ambulance coming back to base by the looks of it. We're in Cowdenbeath, we're going to be going down Cowdenbeath High Street. Which is off to the left. Got a petrol station ahead of us. 186.9 for a litre of petrol. 196.9 for a litre of diesel. And those prices have come down. That bleeping was a pedestrian crossing. Still on reds here. There you go. So we're going straight through here. This building that's getting done up just in ahead of us just now, that was a hotel that burned down a few quite a few years ago. Just got left to sit, but it looks like someone's taken it over. So this is a 
Nice week ball drums, it's a nice week kebab place. Had many a kebab out of that actually. We shop here, the Forty Twa Cafe. That's just opened up, well, it's closed today but that's just opened up a couple of days ago there. A uh, really nice couple that run that. You see the paint and the murals on the wall there. I'm going to take you into the right here. Now, some of you may know that I'm the photographer for Cowden Beath Football Club. So, as I come round here, there's a vets. God, yeah, just open your door in front of me, love. Over to the right, left here, I mean, is Cowden Beath Football Club and Race Wall. Um, which is stock car driving and ahead of us at the moment is the Shimla Palace which is a fantastic Indian restaurant Indian and Nepalese restaurant there's the gate the turnstiles to Cowdenbeath that's the main gate there there's the car park at the side this is the bit that I normally park at Unfortunately, it's closed today, so you can't really see a lot. But we come around here, we're at the back of the swimming baths. Cowdenbeath Railway Station's just over there to the left a little bit, make sure there's nothing coming. Through here, this can't go back on the, that road, that's a one way. Job centre on the right. Like the swimming bath's shut today. We car park over on the right. We're going to take a right here. Nothing behind us. Nothing coming from the left. I can't see from the right, so I'm just going to creep. There we go. Pretty clear. We've got Masonic Hall on the right, which apparently was set up in 1903. Cassie's kitchen over there do a lovely, um, or they did a lovely macaroni cheese. Got a lot coming in here. I don't know where the one at the back's going. I could have maybe made that, but somebody hits the crossing would be handy. Nope, they're not doing it. But it's clear in a second or two. We've got a wee silver car coming down. Once the silver one goes, I'll be able to get around. Perfect. Annabelle Ewing's local MSP. It's our place on the left, Cowdenbeath Railway Station. It was just to the left of that bridge. Back round there. Give that a wee clean. I like to just change, but I was on them before I got there. Some more shops left and right. I think I'll take a right and go up Broad Street. Somebody's put that out in the middle of the road, some idiot. So we're going up to the right here. Through the roundabout. but I haven't been in a long, long time. Did amazing onion rings. That was what my favourite was in there. We battered them up and cut the onions and battered them up and deep fried them and everything. They were so good. It's 
funny because when I did work for the council, some of the, I used to work in some of these houses as well, as a joinery. My dad, when he was a, an electrician, a sparky, um, when he was young, a lot younger than I was at the time I was up here, he did the electrical work when these were getting built. So it is such a small world. Birch pub. We've got an industrial centre at the left here, shop to the right, which is sort of like a wholesale shop sort of thing. The original factory shop. Another petrol station there, 187.9 and 197.9 for petrol and diesel. And we're coming through, I think it's Wood End. Just hit the national speed limit, which is 60 mile an hour, so we we'll just kick it up to 60 there. And you get a small little scoot there at 60, and you have to hit the brakes for a 30. Where they've got these stupid road narrowing things in. Hello Beath's up to the right, quite often photograph their football team. And right at a 40 zone, but I probably won't bother accelerating much on that, because straight back into a 30. And we're entering cross gates. Vice efficiency village, apparently. They're bringing some of the straw in that's just been cut. Farm on the right, um, Rosebank Mains, I think it's called, if I'm right. Um, used to be owned by a family that I'm friendly with. Uh, well, the farmer's mum and dad, actually, mum, my gran knew the winners of it years ago. I just did the gala for this place a wee while ago. We've got Mind Rescue on the left. That's their training facility. That's the first garage I've seen where unleaded dearer than diesel. Uh, dearer than diesel. British Legion on the left there, DeVito's Ice Cream, which is shut, but it's one, it's a, an amazing ice cream shop. Coming up through the green lights. Now I could take a right, which would take us back to the motorway and all that sort of thing, but again, it's a bit boring. So I'm going to run along this way instead. We've got uh, one of the bowling clubs there on the right. We have... Uh, Crossgate's Primrose football ground there on the right, that's Humbug Park. As we come through here, you can see the straw bales have been cut on the left here in the fields. Back to our national speed limit sign approaching up here. I'm not going to well it. I'm not in a mad rush to get home, but I'll pick up a wee bit. Yeah. And up into six. So there's a couple of farms here left and right. If you keep your eyes open, you might actually see some deer in the fields. Um, they're running about wild here, little roe deer. Coming past the other day, and there was a roebuck in one of the fields. Right, 
up a little bit, the scouts have an area which has been set aside for them basically um, on an estate um, called Fordle um, which is basically, if you see the trees on the left it's going to be just after this and they've got a full area where they can go camping um, there's permanent camps out there as well there's uh, training areas for them areas to teach them things there's climbing walls uh, there's a zip slide now this dip here when it rains really heavily gets quite flooded it's always good for a picture for the papers getting cars and vans going through it and spray going everywhere so we're back to 40 zone coming up around this bend I think it would make more sense having it slightly before the bend than after the bend, but hey ho. A little lodge on the left here, a lovely wee place. If we go to the right, we go to Dunfermline. I will take you for a wee spin round Dunfermline in a wee while. But off to the left, we've got Scout Adventures, Fordal Furs. I remember when all this area was just farmland, uh, which wasn't that long ago to be honest, and that road that we just passed off to the right is now houses left and right, the full way, and there's hardly any farmland left. This road here is known for folk going off the road, um, you can see around on that tree is a bit of police tape, um, the amount of cars that just don't bother the speed limit. Folk that can't drive very well, there's a bit of police tape there as well. If it's wet and all that, it's a bit iffy. We've got folk walking on the wrong side of the road, surprisingly. You should actually walk into the traffic, not with the traffic coming behind you. If you look, if you can see over to the sort of 10, 11 o'clock area where the camera is, You've got the three bridges again, you saw them in a video the other day at North Queen's Ferry, hopefully. But the rail bridge, which is actually the fourth bridge, that's what it is. You've got the fourth road bridge, and you have the Queen's Ferry crossing, which is the new one. As we come down here, I'm deliberately slowing down, it's a 40 mile an hour zone. But the police often have a speed camera set up just down here, and I can't see for the height of the hedge if it's there. If I come around this bend speeding, I would get caught. And guess what, it's not there today. So over this little hump bridge here, we're coming to a little area of Inverkeething, which is a little industrial site here. So lots of places, a lot of factories and offices and all that here. But to get into Inverkeen itself, which I'll, I'll, I'll drive through Inverkeen, what the heck. This is a 30 zone. I can get to where I live quite easily from here, I'm probably about 2 or 3 minutes away. Great place to park there, eh? Delivery drivers they think they're on the road, and I can't see far enough round to see if I can get through. Is he going to move or isn't he going to move? What the heck, I'm just going to go for it. Nope, he's just sitting there playing on his wee computer. Great place to park. So on the roundabout, we're going to be taking a right here. Followed by a left, so... You see we've got little uh, things everywhere um, which are sponsored by local businesses with flowers and everything like that. Car coming right, where's he going? No, nope. there's a sign over there saying the Highland Games are on the 6th of August, so hopefully I'll be like that. You idiot, he's just come right up behind me. In a Mercedes, what more can we say? There's Inverkeith Railway Station at the left. If you go, that's the, that's the top car park, so if you go to the next left here, um, you can see that, the, well, we won't go down there today, we'll just take you down to the main street. This is down to a 20 zone. Um, oh, 
for his getting help there to walk. He was out, he was getting hassle for his wife. Then we came Baptist Church on the right. I got the big church on the left here. Heriot Street on the left. It's now one way, but my first ever doctor was in there, and I'm still with the practice, but they've moved. Done weddings in that church on the left. This is quite actually quite medieval. Some of it. It's very old uh, town, village. It's not a village. I'd say it's a town. Take you to the look right here. Up Hill Street. Roman Road, I've known quite a few folk that lived in that area. With the red flats there. There was a police raid there the other day and I missed it. It wasn't until after it was, I saw it uh, on the internet on one of our sites up here and at the time I had a look at it all gone away. I come up here. Now you can see the bay from Ann Street, but I'll take a wee spin round here. Is cross the Queen's very crossing right in front of us. As we come round here, maybe we'll stop up here a wee bit, let you have a look to the left. Maybe look at the view. Yeah, I can stop up here. Drop that mirror and we'll bring this round here a wee bit. Looking out the car there. Here's a wee view for you. There's a scrapyard down there where they break up ships and everything like that down the bottom there. We've got the bay. Down there's Ballast Bank. Part of the machine as well. Zoom you out a wee bit again. Pop you back in, in the mirror in the window. A bit wobbly there. That's, that's better. Got a window up. Check behind me. Nothing's coming. Nothing forward. Go around Winnie Hill Crescent. Now one way. Hey. These houses here have got a stunning view. Okay, when I worked around here, those garages to the left, I put that wood on in the front for the drains to sit on. It's amazing, you know, it's been, what, 29, um, 26 years since I was doing joinery properly, and yet I can still drive past an area and know exactly what I did there. Actually down there, that fence, I actually nailed it to the wall because it was coming loose. I had to fix it up to the wall, so did that. I know I'm kind of waffling away here, but it's all wee memories for me all round here. I don't come round this neck of the woods very often, to be honest with you. 
so it's actually quite good to see, you can see the state of the road, so I mean, it's lucky I'm in a wee SUV here, because I've got the ground clearance so I don't bottom out. So I'm just coming to the top of the hill at Rosyth. I'll drive through a wee bit of Rosyth for you. I'll let you see that. Crossing the M90, the main motorway here. Taking a right on the Castle and Hill Road. This bus cruises past. And here we go, Rosyth, Scotland's only garden city, believe it or not. Apparently it was started to build in uh, 1916, but our house has actually been, the house I live in has actually been there longer than that. a big place. Um, it's a nice place to live. Like, it's like everywhere, you get your good and your bad. So I'm at the roundabout which is quite near where I live. So I'm gonna vanish just now. Roundabout, I'll get clearer here. If you would like to see more of these wee videos of roundabout the area, you know where they're going, but sod it, I'll go with four of the go. It's unusual, a BMW actually giving way to you from the wrong side. Um, yeah, what was, I, was, I was saying, um, if you like some of these videos, you know, they're a bit different to my food reviews and stuff like that. If you want to see more of the area where I stay, let me know down below. Um, I don't know if I've nicked that off someone, I'm sorry about that, but it sounded quite good. And uh, I will see what I can do for you. I'm going to do one on Dunfermline anyway, the Heritage Quarter. Um, I'll let you have a look around there and I've got a few more ideas as well that I'm going to do. So, as I say, if you hit the red button and the bell, that would be greatly appreciated. If you hit the like button, that would be greatly appreciated as well. I'll let YouTube know what I'm doing. So, take care of yourselves, and hopefully, I will see you all very, very soon. See ya.